Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mad Chat episode 506, featuring a look at the game Stasis Bone Totem. <laughs> this is a hell of a great game. It's by a couple friends of mine, Nick and Chris Bischoff. I interviewed those guys two years ago in Mad Chat 460, so you might want to check that out. Uh, but they've been working on this thing for quite a while, and it really shows. Fantastic stuff. Now, if you're not familiar with point-and-click adventure games, I'm going to assume you are, but just in case there's somebody out there that's like, what the heck is that? Look... Uh, there's no way to review these games without giving away some of the some of the puzzles. You know, half the the fun of these things is figuring out how to get you know past the uh, obstacles and so on and so forth. Uh, so if you're at all worried about that, uh, just take my word. It's a good game. Go pick it up. It's on uh, Steam and GOG, uh, 19.99, 20 bucks on on both. Uh, you're gonna love this if you like point and click adventures, uh, horror games, sci-fi. You know, <laughs> you're gonna like it. <laughs> uh, but I'm just putting that out there. So just skip this video for now if you want a completely a virginal experience, and to totally get your money's worth when you buy the game. Uh, if that doesn't bother you, we're only gonna play chapter one here, so there'll be plenty of content for you to figure out on your own, and you can always uh, skip over stuff if you like. Uh, anyway, I definitely think it's worth it. I think you'll agree, uh, but <laughs> got a lot to cover. <laughs> I'm not the quickest uh, when it comes to solving these things, so it takes me a little while to get through the first chapter. Uh, I had to continue playing after this, by the way, because I've heard some really cool stuff. comes up in later chapters. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> without further ado, here is Stasis Bone Totem. And here we go, folks, with Stasis Bone Totem. <laughs> it's just fun to say, Bone Totem. You know, it sounds like it'd be a great metal band. You know, Sepultura with opening act, Bone Totem. You know, it just kind of works for uh, for me. Already a little bit creeped out just by the little opening here. I mean, what the, sort of bloody? <laughs> I guess you can't see it because I'm in the way, but the, you know, there's something going on there in the corner. It don't look too good. Don't look too good. Uh... I think I'll probably be scared playing this. Oh, God. I'm going to be scared. Uh, let's just go ahead. I think we could just dive in. See what it's all about. Oh, a little Steinbeck. So much darker when a light goes out than if it had never shone. <laughs> the lights have gone out. <laughs> this creepy music. Oh, nice. So I don't know if they're going to be narrating. Yeah, there you can hear it. I like the subtitles too. They balance it. Seven one degrees, one eight decimal, four one minutes west. This is Salvage Barge Kilo Delta Kilo One Two calling on VH Channel One Six. Over. Very high frequency. Nothing on the AIS. Nothing. Keep trying. The AAA graphics, as far as I'm concerned. Repeat. Stationary vessel in position. Two three degrees. One zero decimal. Four five minutes south. Seven one degrees. One eight decimal. Deadliest catch. Boom to them. Charlie! It's a rig! I think it's drifting! Radar says no. It's definitely stationary. No, I would never want to work on an oil rig. I <laughs> have family that have. <laughs> and friends with. I don't think it's for me. Something like this would happen. Sea 
15. Kane. Shit. Kane Corporation? It's a Kane Corp rig. Still no response. No comms, no power. Maybe they bugged out. Just left instead of dismantling her proper. Only one way to find out. I see a docking port up ahead. Hold on tight. Those displays. Maybe the Visual Pro will give us that. Is that what it's called? The Dapple thing? I should get it. It's only $4,000, right? <laughs> Here yeah. we go. Please let everything be alright. Please let everything be alright. That's what I say every time I render a video. Okay. Chapter one. Fury on the waves. Okay, something's happening. Okay, we're tied off. Rain may be letting up too. <laughs> and the foxhounds are live and sniffing. Foxhound mapping network connected. We really think these mapping drones are worth it. We have to map the whole thing. With the salvage reports, there's no way we do that without drones. And we're borrowing them, Mac, not buying them. Borrowing has a price too. <laughs> Look at it, Mac. If it's empty, this changes everything for us. Not everything. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> You're right. I'm gonna head into the rig. Hey, let's sync the QSDs. Quantum storage device. Quantum storage device. Is now current. There's active? Yeah. I still can't find the spare device, though. Oh, it's on Moses. I needed its battery. Great. QSD on a toy bear. It'll be passing as seashells and barnacles. He's more than a toy. He's much more than a toy. What are we doing here? Use an item by selecting it from inventory, clicking on interactive location on the puzzle screen. You can only use items on a puzzle pop-up screen. Alright, that's left and right. Ping to highlight locations in the environment. Blue means interactive and green means description. Uh, become a man or person and that shares an item by selecting and then clicking on a portrait. Or grab an item by hovering over a portrait and choosing the item. Okay. We got a PDA to view archive conversations, logs, and collectibles so we don't have to take those pisky newts. Place items in the special inventory slots and manipulate them. Mac can break, bend, and crush an item. Charlie can repair or combine items. Switch characters by selecting their portrait. Okay, so we're going to be switching characters around. A la <coughs> Day of the Tentacle. There might be a tentacle in this game, you know? It, is, it's, it seems like it could be potentially tentacly. Alright, what are we doing here? A variety of accidental knickknacks occupy the wooden shelf. The rough sea has shifted some of Hope's favorite books. Okay, totally should have been paying attention. <laughs> is there like a objectives? How do we get to the... Is this the PDA? Okay, here we go. Is the duck? Oh, we got some duct tape. Oh, we're good. We got duct tape. You know, that can do almost anything. It doesn't make good toilet paper, but otherwise, really handy to have around. Let's see, how do I get to the. Is this BDA? <coughs> Sync the QSDs. Okay, it looks like we need to get to that toy bear they were talking about. Super toy. <laughs> we should really get rid of these. But yet. What? Sophisticated robotic kids toy casts a forlorn figure. The patchy fur betrays its age. However, this rare Mr. Kibble's model boosts both a learning AI on par with modern alternatives. Unopened letters. We should investigate that. <clears throat> A pile of unopened letters has been stacked on the table. 
Words final notice and payment due and blazing the envelopes. Oh, it's too close to home. Anything under the bed? Now, usually there's a. Ooh, what's this? What the heck happened there? Oh, this must be highlighting everything I can interact with. Okay, that's handy. <clears throat> this is a right mouse button. You know, I read that little help screen, but it just <coughs> went in one eye off the other. <laughs> okay, cell recharge station. How do I... Oh, how do I move about... Oh, maybe I can't. Maybe I just have to move the map along with this guy. Workbench, Hope's Crib. Hope's Crib. Who is... Did I miss something here? Who is Hope? Baby. Rainwater drips from the crib's bulging wood. Bassinet's pink paint has been worn away by the weather, and salt water has seeped through the little mattress. I need to go back and look at this. Let's see, logs not there. Maybe. What am I trying to do? Mapping drones. I have to map the whole thing, so maybe we just need to. Just explore the whole area is what they're telling us. Use strength. Need to do that, I don't think. Get away. Cell recharge station. Salvager wouldn't be caught dead without a power cell recharge station. Right. Well, I can zoom in and out. The bridge. Retractable bridge. Attempting to improvise access to salvage, lacking any crew to roll out a welcome. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see. Blue Sky systems close active. All systems nominal. Check. Video check. Vitals check. Uh, I hear you. You seeing what I'm seeing? Mm hmm. Plug suits live. Signal is good. Plugs. This rig is massive. It doesn't look scuttled either. There's way too much equipment left behind. Did I go to another zone? Gate release. Uh, let's see. It said somewhere here that what these colors. Blue means interactive and green means description. Okay. So the blue stuff. It's probably what I want to focus on, but I don't want to miss. These probably have clues as to what I'm doing. Saucer. Puddles. Examine PDA. This should be helpful. Decrypting the PDA. Kurt, Kurt Dog, Darren Motorman. <laughs> kind of a fallout vibe. Looks like another lab is being set up on the mule. Yesterday's cargo resupply had at least a dozen stasis pods. This morning I processed a sizable new neural cortex vat suspended in jelly. Not gonna lie. It made me hungry? <laughs> okay. Oh, Kurt Dog. I forwarded the security protocols to Follis. Unfortunately, the a hole still has me by the balls, and he knows. It. I asked everyone around me if they could hear it too. Couldn't shake the feeling that the music was there. I wish someone could have heard this music. So you guys are a little bit nutty. <laughs> a little bit. Investigate and order treatments for cybernetic degradation due to the salt air. Order a maglev coupler bracket. Check for new food. And if I try to tell you how much you mean to me, I'm working on digging this out of the dead hole. I fully expect to repay the company and get you out of that debt holding facility in five years. Okay, so we're kind of in a dystopia. <laughs> you haven't picked that up already. It's like these corporations have their own sort of private prisons. <coughs> So this guy wants to make some cash for his Babs. 
Oh, it says pending delivery, so that one hasn't been sent. Bill Pushers told me to start keeping a dream journal, so here it is, the same dream I have every night. A human figure enters and tears my tongue from my mouth. I'm forced to look at the figure it speaks. I do not understand its speech. Weird. Nope, to self. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Jeez. Jucca paste. Don't confuse berry for strawberry again. <clears throat> Probably a clue. Uh, Biodis soup gel packs. Order tube cable and piping spares for the mule, including replacement. Placing a mile of melted tin inch steel core cable. What the hell could fry this line in freezing specific? Another potential clue there. I'm probably going to find something. I need to repair it and have to remember what I need. Look, twiddling my thumbs. <clears throat> Here's something about these drones drone races. Greedy buggers. 65 log entries were erased remotely. Capsule wife came up from the mule in a body bag. Please keep me safe in your care, Kane. Help me to feel your presence and know that I'm never alone. What? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, get out of that. How <laughs> do we exit? There we go. A little bit weird. Let's see if we can open up this gate. I usually like to explore everything before I open up another door, but... I feel like I should be able to bump the screen up a little bit, but maybe... Maybe it's... Oh, what's this? Ping. Found the power generator. It's not spinning. Yep. Explains why we didn't pick up any radio chatter. Think we can get it running? Well, it's locked up, but... Yeah. Looks intact. Hold on, I'm coming up. Do we need to break something? <clears throat> oh, I guess we want to. Oh, we can run. <sighs> I forget how frighteningly beautiful the ocean is at night. Frightening's right. Especially during a storm. Though there be fury on the waves, beneath them, there is none. Says who? Deep Sea 15. You probably know that line. <clears throat> what is this place? Who cares? Let's figure out if it's empty, claim the title, and get out of here. Well, this one may warrant some overtime. Conduits? Let's see, what do I well, need? Well, that there? looks heavy. Yeah, no way I'm getting that open by myself. <clears throat> Maybe the two of you can do it. Where do I click? What? Alright. Clicky. What? A network of service pipes spread throughout the facility. Oh, I don't want to go to another area. Come back. Alright, let's see. So. What? There's PDA. Conduits? Let's see, maybe look. Hmm. I can do this. Charlie, I mean it. We can't afford this right now. What does that mean? It means when risks catch up with you, they catch up with me too. What the heck am I doing? <laughs> I'm over here for some reason. <laughs> the... Charlie, god damn it. I made it, Mac. It's fine. It was fine this time. I know my limits. Yeah, yelling That's at not me. the point. The point is, if you get hurt with our debt, we lose the boat too. Haven't we lost enough? <sighs> That's why we're here. This woman. Balustrade. <clears throat> so what is this guy doing? Switch me over to her for some reason. Sod, puddles, cargo boxes. 
I think I'm just supposed to be kind of exploring, checking this place out, and trying to figure out what the hell happened here. A cumbrous aluminum enclosure stuffed with a chaotic assortment of exotic apparatus and equipment. Sounds <laughs> like my closets. Double layered steel walls encase the facility interiors. The cost must have been staggering, although it begs the question as to why it was they felt they were needed. I ask myself every time I pick up my Yeti mug. This is a knockoff, by the way. I do have a <laughs> more expensive proper Yeti. Portal window. Condensation. Looks like this is the only way in. It's. Uh, it's rusted shut. Uh oh. The dull light allows you to make out the various shapes of machinery within. So I think if it's green. I could just hover over it and get the information. I don't think I actually have to go look at it or click on it and do anything. That saves some time. A warped handrail, likely victim to the same occurrence that took up the rest of the hallway. Oh, I see. So ping tells you what you can click on, I guess, or what you can interact with. Twisted rod. What? And that doesn't do anything. Have you ever played an adventure game called Rim? R H E M? Kind of like Mist, but more of a sort of industrial take. Use engineering. <clears throat> I can use my technical skills to fix objects in the inventory. Alright, can I fix that? Use on self. <laughs> Alright, what is this? Two items must be in the adjacent inventory slots. Twisted rod. Oh, maybe I just needed to remove the rod. Nope. Ping it again. Oh, maybe I... So can I use that to break that? Uh, use it. Uh, drag it. Nope. Okay, weird. I don't think I can do it like that. <laughs> just, you know, this is why, you know, it's, it's hard to review adventure games. I just don't know what, how exciting it is to see me look baffled. Okay, twisted handrail. Maybe I got to give that, what's his name? Maybe I got to give this guy the, the tool for that this height, the wind begins to tug and pull at exposed architecture. The beginnings of a house starting to form as air pushes through the skeletal remains. The collapse. A lot of damage here. Storm must have done this. Please be careful. This isn't my first rodeo, Mac. Yeah, Mac. Back off, Mac! Jeez, Mac. Alright. I don't think there's anything else to do there. It's not going something called death drop. <laughs> How do I get back? I'm gonna get over here. Perhaps walk away. Uh oh. Void. Oh, there we go. Nope. Okay, let's see. It must be a map. PDA. No. Menu. Ping. Ping me. Oh, did I... Did I somehow get myself stuck over here? Twisted portal window. Okay, she can't... Yeah, I guess we can go that way. <clears throat> hmm. Well. Let's go back to this guy. Yeah, this way, right? Uh, door won't budge. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Rig this size. Those bulkheads are magnetically sealed. 
Magnetically sealed. Junction box. Whoa! I like that Bing button. Uh, this is my kind of puzzle. Damn it. I think the gear operator's bust. I can fix it. Pass it over in the QSD. Pass it over in the QSD. Did I? Was it just teleport? <laughs> How is it working? Uh, let's see. Whoa, what happened? Uh, oh. Shit. <laughs> Eric, do that. Do the thing. Okay, maybe that's not how to do it. Use on self. It looks like a fuse is blown. Well, surely I need to find a fuse. Okay, so I can move these items over here. Okay, I think I'm starting to get this. So it looks like I need a fuse. Let's see if there's a fuse lying around somewhere. Something's not right. All this equipment, why would they leave it? You've heard of gift horses, I presume. Yeah, and Trojan horses. Some of them used. Oh, another clue. Let's see, is there like a screenshotter type tool? JJ, start push button, JJ. Probably need to remember that. Bam. All right, let's turn the ping back on. Junction box. Yeah. So it's such maybe she needs the duct tape to fix that. No, that didn't work. I'm pretty sure it's got to be a fuse. That's the only thing that makes sense. Maybe the fuse is over here somewhere. Collapse crane. How do you move the screen down? Oh, there we go. Okay. Good. Death drop. Okay, I think must be up to him. So let's let's go back. Must be more for him to find. Back to here. Been there, PDA, been there. Wait, 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 wait. Stacked cargo. Hastily packed cargo. Hmm. Where would a fuse be? Oh, here we go. I think I missed all of this. That is creepy looking. What is that? Must need to plug something in there. Now it's starting to make sense. <sighs> How are we going to? It's just never ending. I know the feeling. I always like to take a quick scan of something like this. I see some numbers here that might be handy. Let's see. I think the blue means I can interact with oh. it, right? I keep waiting. Oh. But. <sighs> Fool's errand. Never hurts any less. What's going on? Let's hope the one that was in the debt facility. Wait, so you're telling me they took the guy's daughter? And 
and wife, I guess? Or partner? Awesome. Um, okay, I'm gonna just assume that's what we're dealing with here. So these guys are trying to get some salvage, not just because they're greedy or something, but they're trying to get their family back from the evil corporations. Okay, just so can't do anything with the super toy. Cell recharge station, but I don't. I think I have anything to charge. Okay. Ocean. So this must be their ship. And they connected here to this rig. Okay. <laughs> it's, I'm a little slow on the uptake today. <laughs> it's starting to come together. Hastily back cargo. Okay. All right, and he can't get through this without junction box. So we need to put something there. All right, let's go back to her. Now there's a little plus on there. What does that little plus mean? Is there a fuse here somewhere? Let's walk away. Oh, maybe there's a fuse here. No. That's not how you do anything, right? Very securely shut. Don't think I need duct tape. I don't think duct tape is going to help us there. Right. Collapsed crane. Well, I am missing something. I might as well try everything on everything. We're getting to that point already. Death job. Okay, she can't make that. Let's look at this guy's ability. Use strength. I can use my strength to bend, break, or smash objects in the inventory. I need to break something? Maybe I need to break the rod? Twisted rod goes to him. There we go. Now it's a decent weapon. May come in handy. Alright, so we've got a weapon. Oh, there's some more stuff up here. Ah. There's something up there. I don't think I'm supposed to go that way. Start push button. You know, I wonder if this little code up there in the corner actually works. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to try that. Maybe it's a little Easter egg. Why not? Let's just see if it'll... Oh my god! <laughs> Little QR code. No clues here. I went to a... did a Google search called There Are No Clues Here. <laughs> ah, clever! Unfortunately, I think I might need a clue. I'm starting to get a little bit hopeless here. Uh, reinforced walls. All we have is a straightened rod. Ah, do we need to get further. one? Maybe she could combine that rod with something? Nope. That didn't work. And that didn't work. Uh, let's see. Maybe... Hmm. Gonna need a rod for possibly to break through the. There must be some way to use something, right? 
use it on the window. I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. I feel like it should be saying something like, you can't use that. Two items must be in adjacent inventory. Okay, I just don't think I can open this. There's something I can do here, but I don't know what. Maybe I need to get the dude over here. Twisted hand with a portal window. Dual shapes. Can I look through it? On the outside, oxidation has accumulated. Oxidation has accumulated over time, sealing it shut. So maybe I need some kind of rust remover. Okay. Must be something on this guy's end. Let's try to make sure we have seen every area. Okay, back to here. Puddles, facade, cargo box. We looked at the PDA already. I don't think there's anything else. Well, they wanted me to map everything. Okay, back here. Still recharge station. Maybe I need to. Oh, here we go. Rusted. Ah! Got to fix it at some point. You know, with all the free time that I've got. Okay. Oh, oh. There's the fuse. Oh, now we're cooking. And now we're cooking. Oh, gosh. Got the fuse. This thing with adventure games. You're stuck. You're stuck. You're stuck. You finally find that one item and you're like, okay, now I can solve like the next seven puzzles. These fuse boxes are tricky, but the control unit should work now. You gotta remember when it's the blue thing, you can actually double click or right click on it and it will go to a different screen. Good to know. Alright, let's see. What did that go to? <laughs> Is that on this? Or does it go to him? Okay. I thought he was working over there. Maybe it's this thing. Double click on it. Use item. Okay, that doesn't work. Definitely can't click on that. Oh, junction box. Ah. Okay, click. Yep, there we go. There we go. Alright, that opened that. This massive fan the massive fan blades to speed heat. So what did I do? What? <laughs> it's what did I just do? It opened up that... Oh, I see. Okay, it opened it. Looked like it closed it from that angle. Okay, and there we go. Lock gate. Hmm. Need something to pry this lock. Oh, you mean like something straight and metallic? I don't know what you need. Too bad someone lost our crowbar, isn't it? Hey. I've Let's already solved that puzzle. Sandwich. I've already solved that puzzle. Get the straightened rod. Straightened rod. Okay, back to this. Let's ping it. There we go. And got it. Got a magnet. Now let's get that power back on. I would really appreciate that. What? Oh, there's another area. Man, turbine starter. Turbine, what are you starting? I, just, I love this art style, man. <laughs> it, just, it just makes you want to figure out, oh, it's a puzzle, you know? How do I solve it? Where are the pieces I can manipulate? I wish I could just make this stay on. Is there a way to lock this? Okay, so we got a magnet. What a useless door locking mechanism. 
Oh, I can turn that. Rust our way. Need that. I need to give that to. Uh... Let's see, what's her name? He's Mac and she is. Charlie. That's right. Mac and Charlie. Okay, she's got. I said it was Rust. There we Rust go. See, they just click on it. Good work there. Thanks. Heading inside. Okay. So now we got lots of stuff to explore. Wing nut. Wing nut. Where are you going? You didn't want to go in? Oh, oh. oh. It's dark. Power's off here. Eesh. This is when you know you're not playing a <laughs> Lucas film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God, Charlie! What is that? It's, uh, it's a body. Okay, that's it. Get back to the boat. No, 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 Mac. It, it's okay. It's okay. It's a body. Really messed up one too. We're out of here. Authorities can deal with this. It's not like we haven't seen bodies before. Remember the Starfall? That was different. It was a contract. We knew there was going to be... And now we know the same thing here. <sighs> Charlie. We can do this. Oh, we don't back. have any idea what's going on here. Whatever killed him could kill us too. Exactly. We don't know. We don't know if it's dangerous or if it isn't. So we stay until we find out. Yeah, Charlie. that makes total Just sense. a little further <laughs> back. We, we don't need this. know it's dangerous. We need it. You know I'm right. It's just a dead body. A little further. Mutilated. The next time I call it, it's called. Oh, shut up. Blade Man. Oh. What's all these numbers and crap? The final meal of a sacrifice man has spilled on the ground. In the dim light, the slaughter soaked concrete glistens. The slaughter soaked concrete glistens. It's like a Morrissey song, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, this looks. Like what? Like it's staged, like a. Like a ritual. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Ritual. Bone totem. It's a bone totem. You know, maybe it is a bone totem. Oh, I want to shake hands with the bone thorn. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, I probably should have let you guys see that. I like clicked on it and it crinkled like bacon or something. Slimy bacon. What am I looking at there? Yes, I see something. Uh, maybe I duct tape it? Nope. Not sure what I need to do with that. <laughs> Uh, magnet, perhaps? Eh, yeah, just give her everything. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to Flayed Man. Let's see. Is he the rod doesn't do it. Magnet doesn't do anything. Okay, let's just give him everything back. Oof. Oh, there's another PDA. So you got to double click to get the thing to pop up. What is this? Is Stephen Cameron. I've been assigned to assist Dr. L. Spass. Should see require anything to be lifted or transported. Apparently her bones are messed up soft as chalk. It feels like I'm on Vulcan Death Watch again. Did I mention she smells like zinc and brimstone? You know, I don't know if I know what zinc and brimstone smells like. Brimstone, though, I think is like demonic. I'm guessing stinky. More long entries erased. Sir, we've lost comms with the mule. Doesn't sound like our, your occupying force communicating below just fine. They cut the comms to control the flow of information from the mule. Don't want anyone accidentally learning about what's happening down there. Cap told me most systems have been shut down remotely. 
did stuff like this in Blue Haven in the 70s. We called it a goat <laughs> operation. Yeah, this is not a game for kids, folks. Here's some cuss words in here. So evacuate white personnel and data we can, then burn the place to the ground. Standard procedure was to set the site to self-destruct. This spy is trying to generate plausible deniability and shape an internal narrative. Evacuate, burn the place to the ground. What did they find? Something heavy hit me on the head. What the hell happened here? A ton of debris washed up on the landing. Life jackets and equipment. Post the log. Oh, sweet mother, the bell came climbed out. I heard screams. They didn't sound human. It's almost getting like a... Well, like the Abyss? Or Lovecraft? Cap, I got the sentry gun up and running, and by some miracle also got the DNA sniffer working. So if we can get a sample from that skin job, we can target it specifically. The battery was fried, so I spliced its cabling into our power grid. And it has ammo. I have a feeling that our time is up. I think there's a couple. Tick tock, that's all I hear. <laughs> Goat F operations always end up in a large explosion. No explosion? Sid didn't make it. I heard a scream. Cap, you were sleeping when I left. I'm heading out now to deal with the old generator. The gas needs a refill. I will grab some flowers from cold storage. I know that love yellow daisies. We feel better if we sent her off respectfully. Shut up! So something bad. Oh, bowels. Yes, look at the bowels. Oh, here's another one of these notices. Here's this JJ again. Okay, so I guess the one clue was telling me what to input when I find JJ, and this is telling me which of these panels is the right one. So two very important clues. I'm sure. And bowels. A wispy web of meat. Beads of blood hanging from the tendrils, each reflecting the dynamite. A profane decoration of uncratic wings. Is it my just getting poetic? Where are my hanging chains? Variegated hanging chains clink like quietly in the soft currents of the draft. It's a good, good look, good decor. Elevator panel. Without power, this elevator's not going anywhere. Working on it. Work faster. So he's trying to get the power up. She's checking out the flayed bodies. Got gotcha. your tarp. Fuel mix Look station. Look at this. Fuel cylinder resupply station. Functional. Huh. Looks it. That'll come in handy. Oh, what's this? We got ourselves a screwdriver. It's covered in... Wire? Mac threw my previous screwdriver at a dolphin. <laughs> okay. Danger. Da, da, da. What do we put? What is that? Oh, it's supposed to be where I need to put the. I guess I'll find a fuel cell and put it there. Gotcha. Okay, I don't think I can go any more than that. Or maybe I can. No. Nope. Gotta go the long ways around. Okay, well, we have a screwdriver now. Feel better. The crates are stacked in a way that suggests they were intended as a barricade. Okay, and I guess I can't remove them. I'm kind of curious how they're able to send inventory to each other, but that's probably explained somewhere. <laughs> Somehow. It's computers! Okay, it's, surely the screwdriver's gotta do something here. Out of fuel, looks like. Okay, there's our fuel cylinder. I know it's gonna interact with you. That damaged hose. Oh, I know how to fix that! Do, 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 I'm a genius. What's this question mark? 
I get the feeling the solution on this one has to be more than one piece. Might need to look around for the answers. They're like, yeah, old Barton will probably get so flummoxed. We better put in a little question mark there. Thanks, guys. You were right. And voila! Airtight. Little duct tape will fix again. anything. Using fancy words, making yourself look smarter than me. Honey, I don't need fancy words for that. Okay, I got a repaired hose. Now I need to give her that fuel cell. Empty fuel cylinder. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So she needs to go back to the fuel cylinder place. Fuel mix station. There. I love how they have these like holograms and stuff, but all the computers are like Apple II or <laughs> like, you know, it was a Hercules graphics. Uh oh. What the hell? What is this crap? What in the name of God? Is that. Is that do something? I don't think that was right. I was not expecting that. Let's just see if that somehow lucked out. <laughs> Boom! Game over. Oh, cool. Is this a death scene? Ooh. Uh, yeah, uh, a little mistake, Mac. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> well, macaroni, uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see, uh, yeah, um, like, is there a way to empty this son of a gun? Uh, unknown console. Now, I saw... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Where the... There we go. Okay, let's see. I want to get another look at the... Oh, ah! Okay, I'm trying to... It's like triangles, okay? Okay. Now, how do I reset this thing? Okay, is that reset? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, somewhere I saw those triangle symbols. I just have to try to remember where. This must be it. So yellow slashes and a red slash. So let's just count them. There's four, eight, twelve. See how many symbols are here? Dun, 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 dun. Loading. It'd be really fun if we make them wait to load. Four, eight, twelve. Okay, so there are. Maybe it doesn't matter what order I punch him in. Okay, I'm gonna need some paper. Let's just test out this theory. Okay, so the one we got. Well, they didn't get carried away here with the number of cells. Okay, so one far left, far right, boom. I'm not sure what the red one means. If that means it needs to go first or not at all or what. But I'm going to take. One more look to make sure my notes are right here. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Okay, here we go. Am I supposed to wait on this thing or click? I 
I guess I have to click on it. Okay, we got. You know, they're pointing in different directions. So. Let's just go with this theory. And this one was red. Let's see what happens there. I'm not sure if red means it's first or last or don't do it at all. I guess we'll find out, won't we? That didn't sound good. Well, did it work? Well, at least he didn't get fried. Hello. What else could this mean? I guess it's possible you're supposed to do all the other ones except for those. Uh, or the order might matter. Hmm. There's probably a clue in one of those logs. Let's see. Continue. Let's see if they gave us a little clue here somewhere. Uh, fuel cylinder. Fuel cylinder. Logs. Who was talking about the fuel? Destruct. Little generator. And I thought I saw somebody talking about fuel. Fuel. Dead hole. A lot of holes. Cable. Wait. Super gel packs. Nope. Well, must be some clue. Let me just look again here. Turbine starter. Okay. No, I don't think I don't think that's the right way. I've already looked at that. Okay. Let's try it without the red. Not doing the red one. Let's see what that does. Looking around. I hope I didn't miss a clue somewhere. I probably did. Whoa. Okay, so that was... Wait, what in the world? Let's try to leave the ones on. So do the opposite. Let's see what this does. Okay. So we just did the opposite pattern. Uh oh, I think it's macaroni time again. Maybe you only have to watch that once and then it just assumes you're two. <laughs> okay, what else could it be? Maybe this isn't even a clue to this. There's something there. Maybe I gotta put the hose back. Ah! Oh! Did it work? Did I just do that right? Switch distribution control. Input correct substation sequence. Oh, yeah. See the JJ? Remember that? That's right, but I need four sets. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. Power grid failure. You mean that I had. Did I get the puzzle right about the cylinder? 
Guess so. Alright, so we need to combine our clues about the... Let's see, those, those letters. Let's see, where did I notice that? Elevator panel, that's not it. I'm pretty sure it was her though, right? Uh, substation notice, yeah, this was it. Okay, what am I looking at here? This must be the... What is that? I can't quite make out the one on top. A-A. Then we've got F-G and T-K. And some of these are crossed out. I don't know what that what that means. Make a note of it here. T-K is crossed out. A-A and B-N. So that gives us only two that aren't crossed out. There was, I think, another clue about it somewhere. All right. There was another clue. Collapse crane. Maybe I'm just making that up. Oh, where was the other clue? Okay, can't go that way. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with that, whatever that is. Yeah, maybe it's something on his side then. Controller station, stall turbine. Dun, 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 dun. Examine PDA. Go down here. So recharge station. there's any reason to be playing with that. Although now that I have my tools, let's go back and take a look at this magnet. No. There must be a battery pack somewhere. Okay, let's see. Unopened letters. Right, that's not it. Picture frame. I don't see any Clue is hidden in that. Scrap on the table. I thought there was a, you know, man. I know I saw another clue that had the FF on it. I'm trying to remember what that was. Maybe it was on this thing. Oh, junction box, maybe. Oh, that doesn't look good. I guess it's working, though. Hand blades. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Let's see. AA, FG. Okay, so we got AA with the power symbol on it. F G J J and A A and J J is circled for some reason. Start push button. Okay. Let's write down these little numbers here too. T one nine six seven two and T one. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Looks like there's a ninety five and a ninety six there too. Okay. Now, where was that? Junction box. So this is going to be tricky. Let's see if we can figure it out. Let's 
Switch distribution control input correct sub. Oh, we got a clue. That diagram I saw back on the turbine. That might help me get this up and running. Yeah, I already, already had that. Okay, so these can be set to different. So the numbers don't do anything, it's just the letters. Let's try the one that we saw on his diagram. A, A, F, G. Oops. F, G. J, J. Yep. And A, A. Failure. Uh, why? <laughs> Alright, maybe, uh... Maybe just turn that one on. Power good failure. Well, yeah. GG. If we go with the ones that were not crossed out, it looks like this. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, so good. But there. Good work. Um, problem though. What? Can't access the rig schematics. There's a security lockdown. Stand by. Man, okay, I'm in. There's a control room through that sealed door on the upper deck. If we're gonna override the lockdown, that's where we do it. Got it. I'll check it out. Where's the most recent? Can't access the rig schematics because it's a security lockdown. There's a control room through that sealed door on the upper deck. Okay, I'm gonna get to the upper deck. And there's the door that was sealed. So, yeah. No chance I'm squeezing through this. What about Moses? You're kidding. He's helped sort scrap before. Already has a comm rig and a QSD. We can trade items with him just like we do with each other. <sighs> I don't like talking to him. Every time he asks about... He was with her when it happened. It happened because of him. That's not fair. I'm just saying what it is. She jumped in after him. It's still not fair. Fine, I'll get the damn bear. Here, take his key. Uh, so maybe we're not supposed to know what happened. Smart bear. Smart bear key. Smart bear key. I need to get this to go away. Okay. Now we can finally turn that bear on. Oops. He's down here. You know, they build up a little suspense that way. Like, what happened to their daughter? I think I'm getting confused. One of the people that were on this rig, their family went into debt. Okay. This is one ugly looking. I am Moses. <laughs> I am Hope's best friend. Hope isn't here, Moses. Ah, yes, I remember. The water. I do not like water. She tried to... Head up to the top of the rig. I need you to squeeze through an open door there. I will not see hope again. Head up to the top of the rig. Get no. through the door. I don't think I had that tape from my yes, city, Ruxman. Smart bear! Alright. <laughs> uh, oh, they each have, I guess they have their own little, little tagger. Wait, I got distracted by Teddy Rooks, but what am I? I always with? hope, Charlie. I do too. No, oh, he's got play. it. I do too. Is it wrong to wish I could stop missing her? Sometimes I feel guilty for wishing it. No. I think that, uh, it isn't wrong at all. 
Yeah. Right, Charlie. Just open the pod bay doors. <laughs> Moses, just open the pod bay doors. I do not like water. Water, you are powerless. There is a lot of water here. Water is unsafe. Okay, I get I it. Like you don't like water. water. It'll be dry inside. I promise, Mouth. Where, Charlie? Yeah. Charlie Bank, I am inside. Okay. Charlie. Now you need to get to the control room. It's on the other side of that bulkhead. Charlie Mac. Yes, I'll have a side of Charlie Mac. Secured crates. Non-processed food have been stuffed into these containers. Pooled water. I don't like pooled water. Or swimming pools or bathtubs. Sinks, dishwashers. The floor is slippery here. Children should be cautious. Hot water bottles. The door is closed. You're small. Find a way in. I will try. My Mac. <laughs> I think I think the smart bear is the scariest part of this game so far. It's creeping me out more than the flayed corpse. Oh, what's this? Looks like I'll need a screwdriver. Hope it's not a wet screwdriver. I don't like the wet screwdriver. Oh, goodness. This could cause injury if it lays here. I'm going to cause injury to you if you keep spouting out <laughs> public service announcements. This is a deep sea installation. It's starting to warm up. There, Everything on it's dangerous, okay? Just ignore him, Mose. Bye, Charlie. Is that supposed to turn that on? Turning this on and off is fun. I like watching it start and stop. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, man. Ugh. Okay, so we turn that on. What that's worth? What, what is that? Control room bulkhead, gas reservoir. Pooled water. Floor. Future air. Okay. Kitchens can be dangerous places. Utensils, sharp objects, and powered equipment should always be stored safely. Spoiled food. Company mandated ingredients conspicuously untouched in the kitchen and watch triple supplies. And we got ourselves another PDA. <laughs> Sid Cookie Monster, Mason Chef. My Christmas lunch menu is Peruvian string beans and oyster soup. Dr. K's new pet this morning. She's been growing some tumorous meatballs in Baron's lab. Her obsession with mixing her bodily fluids more than she can find is getting to me? What the hell? I found one of her fish in the extended storage freezers covered in pustules? A weird mucus-like goop crawled out of its gills and across the drawer. What? I was asked to whip up a bunch of genite genite juice for Kurt. He's still having those bad dreams. A tasty blend of synthetic opioids, cough syrup, sedative hypnotics, and essential oils. <laughs> I'm sleeping like a bitch. I'm genuinely happy I went through all that effort to get a transfer topside. Synth Corbin who keeps me from visiting. Black Ops Thug. I'm praying the some Black Ops Thug mistakes him for a toaster and puts a few around in his plastic face for target practice. Well, there's a scent there somewhere. I don't think we've run into him yet. Sebastian is being prepped for departure. We did task for loading boxes of cars, crates, and artifacts. Treasure. Just kind of whatever they look like. Even maybe. They look like bullet stoppers. Found more race stuff. 
It's part of the collateral after all. The ship departed, I saw Baron and several executives watching us plead the way a child watches a worm eat an insect from the inside. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its leg to escape. We will survive this together! Menu. <laughs> Menu listing what meals and ingredients are sanctioned by corporate. Small mountain of plastic cutlery. You know, like in this interface, you know, you can quickly read this. I don't. Sometimes I get. Uh, not this game, but, you know, some games. Uh, some adventure games, shall we say, tend to put way too much description. You know, like this. Just the right amount. Read it quick. Get the gist of it. Move on. Add some flavor. This place smells bad. I would like to go home now. You gotta be <laughs> fucking kidding me. Language, Mac. I know, Moses. Really it's okay. We'll leave soon. I promise. I will leave soon. Smart bear. Take a look. This is not safe for children to eat. Look at that. Food still on the plates. Yeah. They left in a hurry. Well, I guess they could see all. through each other's visors or whatever they're getting on there. What the? Interesting. Well, this is like something out of Riven here. Uh, might have something to do with stars. I don't see anything I can click on. Weird. Pool table. Ooh. Roost roast roster. <laughs> you get it right. Deep Sea 15 Pool League. Winner gets their choice, choice of shift rotations for a month. Two months. Pool League. <laughs> B Fargo? <laughs> Who could that be? Freeborn. S. Barnell. B.B. Dooley. H. Morgan. Barnell Sutters. Campty and Gampty. Oh, what's this? Sea captain for betting pad numbers. Okay. Another little clue. No, wait. Cold water. Did I. Oh, I circled back. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we got pressure. Pool table, take a look at the weird painting. Going here. Right. Window, consumables, water bottles. There's PDA. I've seen that. Okay, so we've done everything. Reservoir, great. Ah, man, I totally forgot what we were <laughs> working on here. Let's see, what's he doing? Open letters. So, what was. Uh, magnet. Bridge. I think I'm still trying to get her. Did I get out of here? Junction box. Wait, is there still more I need to do this junction box? Well, that looks good. I haven't been on anything with her in a while. Maybe we're back to her. What do you think I need to activate on him? What is that? It wasn't the magnet. I'm pretty sure we tried that. Possibly the screwdriver. Wait, is it? 
Am I supposed to turn that on or off? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you just have to kind of look around. Look carefully at how things are laid out. Sometimes that will trigger the aha moment. Okay. Okay. What am I supposed to do? I am completely uh, <laughs> lost the thread. Turn this goodness noise closed. Get to the control room. What did he need to do here? Control room. There tonight. Fill cylinder, that'll come in handy like a ritual. Fuse boxes. Okay, we need to. What does this do? Alright, that's just the menu. So we have a magnet. We need to figure out what the magnet does. We have a junction box. I'm pretty sure we solved this. Click on any of that. Oh, fan blades. Okay, so maybe that's what this is about. Yeah, okay, let's try it again. So maybe we turn this off. I think we turned it on that time. So I don't think that has anything to do with that. Must be some area I need to get into or something. Okay, back. Let's try going this way. Nope, that's not it. And then, oh, wait. Okay. This room. Yeah, here we go. Oh, wait, I've already been here. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Transformer, energized turbine. Okay, so we turned the power on. They got the fan running. What else is there to do? Missing something. Oh, maybe the cell recharge station. Okay. PDA. Must be something with this. I just, I can't, I have no idea. Let's just try everything. Let me give her all the stuff. Let's see. She's the only one that can interact with his hand. There we go. <laughs> That's creepy. So you, sometimes you just got to try everything on everything. I'm sure that's not blood. Yes, it's only catch. Oh, can I combine that with that? No. Nope. Disabled security implant. Now what could I need that for? Oh, he looks creepy, doesn't he? What's all those flowers? Okay, so we've got the security implant. 
did that one already. Hmm. Elevator panel, maybe? Uh, let's see, where do I interact with? I'm not seeing the circles. Okay, somebody needs to use this implant. In the fuel mix. Okay, obstruction. Known console. Uh, it's got to have something to do with this bear. Okay, turn. Looks like it's still running though. I don't know what good that did. What good this is doing? Should it be on or off? I don't know. Gas reservoir. Control room bulkhead. That's flashing red. Pooled water. Future dare. I'm missing something here. Roster. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Take a look. Collectibles now. Oh, so I have a collectible now? Uh, PDA. Cave? What the heck? Where did that come from? Furniture. There's a pool table. A lot of clues about pool. Notice board. Huh. Need to find this control room. Water bottle menu, PDA, food, not included, and this comes back out here. Okay, so he was the guy. He can get to the other side of that thing, right? See, let's see. Well, there's definitely nothing I can click on here. Nothing up there. Deep sea. I'm gonna have to go back and study those conversations again, I think. Must have missed something. Looks like this is an important room. I think I've done everything I can do here. Uh, you know, it must be something in that with that chef. Let's take a very close look at this. Light flickers through the air vent. Off. That slows it down. Maybe. Weird. I just don't. Maybe I need to stop that fan entirely. Probably do that with this rod. Let's see if we're on the right track. But it looks like the only thing I can do is put that on and off. Okay, I got a fan I can turn off and on. Mm 
disabled security implant, a magnet, a screwdriver. And I'm still convinced of something with the bear here. Control room bulkhead. Great. Oh, I'm flummoxed, I tell you. It looks like... It's got to be some reason I'm turning that fan on and off. Putrid air. I don't see anything changing. Let's take another look at that. Uh, I just want to double check something. So I definitely can't interact with this thing, right? Just doesn't look like it. Okay, so the answer must be in this PDA. Lunch, personal log. Imagine me what down. It's kind of hard to tell whether this is just sort of the story elements or there is there a clue buried in here somewhere. Count. Stupid toaster, abilities, logs. Is there just not it's creepy, but I don't don't see anything there of relevance. Okay, so when I get good and stuck like this, the best thing to do is probably just to go back and look at the PDA. Let's go through everything. Uh, conversations. I think these are let's see. Mapping drones. Changes for us. Let's go to the food cell place left in a hurry. It smells bad. Cold chili store. Turning this on and off is fun. Everything. Just ignore him. Charlie. The floor is slippery here. Do not like water. I have Moses. I need you to squeeze through an open door there. Head up to the top of the rig. Get through the door now. He's helped that scrap before. He has a comm rig and QSD. We can trade items with him. Huh. Can't access the rig schematics as the security locked down. There's a control room through that sealed door on the upper deck going to override the lockdown that's where we do it control room through that sealed door on the upper deck okay so he would have been the one to see this upper deck here's the upper deck right all right I don't so there's the door he couldn't squeeze through so we've got the bear to go through. And that's there. Let's make sure it's not like hidden something. Okay, so I think that door is where he squeezed through. So he got in here for a reason. <laughs> Whiteboard, notice board. And none of these things I can interact with, correct? Double check. Two minutes. Could be a code or a clue buried in that. You know, I'm wondering if, uh, maybe I'm getting deceived here. These two different doors. Let's just make sure there's 
Yeah, okay. So this isn't the control room either. Now, unless there is like... Hmm. Soggy pieces of equipment. I can't back up in there. Control room. Massive magnetic clamps ensure that the bulkhead access point can be shut down in the case of a breach. Which is what happened here, right? There's ocean water below. And we got this grate. Which okay. I'm gonna give him everything. <laughs> Try everything on everything. Gotta be something. Nope. Nope. Huh. I feel like there's got to be something. There's got to be something with this thing, right? But I can't... Why would I need to turn a fan on and off? You know, maybe I need to... Well, that doesn't make much sense. You know, maybe I... Uh... Junction box. I can't turn any of this stuff back off. Oh, maybe that's what I need to do. Ah! I bet you that was it. Now, I bet now. No, same thing. So he took the. He got the fuse back. Do I need to give that fuse to somebody? Elevator panel. Security lockdown. Okay, okay. What is missing a fuse that I've seen? What have I seen that's missing a fuse? about her special power. Nope. What is his special power? Oh, he doesn't have one. Magnet. It's a magnet on my head to hold his beer. Oh. <laughs> Magnets. Okay. As far as I know, that's the only thing he can interact with here. Junction box. PDA. Power room. So definitely can't do anything in here. Fuse box. I bet it's something to do with that fuse. Huh, I don't know. The only other thing is this cell recharge station. Something there, something there. You give him all these items. Let's give him everything and see, maybe. Maybe there's something with that cell recharge station. All right, fuse might, yep, there's the fuse. Okay, plug that back in. Nope, <laughs> nope. You know, it looks like, nope, oh, back. Pull 
pull that. What do you think goes here? It must be where the cell phone goes if we had one. I can take the fuse out. Man, I'm just flummoxed. Completely flummoxed. We're going to have to just retrace all our steps and try to figure out Like anything. What about this thing? Can't take that off. Alright, fuse, rod, screwdriver, disabled security implant. Planted in my right foot. I just keep thinking there's some area that I haven't explored yet. Huh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I think this just might have to might have to just stop here because I am absolutely stuck. Fuel mix station. know why what else I could need from this station this is uh, let's see now security lockdown can't open it man you would think that has something to do with it Let's see, maybe I can open up this panel with something. No, but I don't think there's any place for me to interact here. Yeah, can I maybe fix that? No. That doesn't make any sense. He can break things. Does he need to break the implant? <laughs> Really reaching here. That didn't work. That didn't work. Nope. Does anybody have anything else to break? Switch. She can combine things. He can break things. The bear can get into small spaces. Picture frame, one open letter. Bed. So recharge station. Water facade. I will not be defeated. Cargo, haste in back. Cargo can't go that way. Conduits. Come in here. Power room. Nope. I notice it kind of loads twice when I come in here. I wonder if that's something. Hello, hit me. <laughs> Reinforced walls. Why the hell would I have sent this? bear through this crack and just have it do nothing. It doesn't make sense. I'm missing something. Uh, danger. That thing looks completely dead now. Alright, you damn bear. <laughs> there. Come on. What am I missing? Magnetic clamps. Is it something to do with magnets? Do I have to have the magnets in my inventory? Okay. 
Can I use the magnet? Nope. Is there something I can click on here? Looks like there's some split wires there. If I could get it to shut completely off. Oh! Say this for him, he breaks oh my god! Really? Seriously? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I get it. It's fun to switch it on and off. Okay, so I should have known. Like, oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh wow. I'm in the control room. Good work, Mose. Now, can you find an access point and override the security lock? Am I allowed to do that, Charlie? Find We're giving you permission. Can he do that? Yeah, he can. I've, uh, kind of improved his design. He's a very smart bear now. Very smart. I am a very smart bear now. So, man, they give you descriptions. You had better read it carefully. <laughs> They give you the answers, you just have to put two and two together. What is, what is this? What am I looking at here? Let's see, we use that on that. Oh, something's happening. Sentry gun, security lockdown. <laughs> gun. <laughs> okay, did we turn the gun on? I guess so. Connection secure. Firewall override. Access granted. Improved. I see what you mean. He's actually useful now. Mac, please be nice. It's a damn toy. Not to her. He wasn't. Exterior and interior bulkheads are cycling pre-checks. Please be patient. Mag doors are gonna open. Alright, sounds like we're doing something right. Got a bunch of other stuff. Might as well explore here. Lumps of paper, dead consoles, corpse. Who's the corpse? Hello, I am Moses. What is your name? Moses found another body. Getting a really bad feeling here. Just a little further. It's Barton's corpse. He's been here for months trying to figure out a, how to flip a switch on and off. <laughs> oh, oh! Look in the oh man! It was like some lightning, and it's gonna do it again. Look at these windows up here. Oh, look at that! How cool! So they're like wrote uh, in the condensation SOS. Oh, that's cool. Got another PDA there. Let's see. Donald Big D Haskett. Well, Big D. You'll make all indulgences to a representative as if you were the king himself. As of this, meal has initiated quarantine, supplies, waters, and ration. Fuzz nuts. So listen up, fuzz nuts. So they're under quarantine. Use flush only. One flush only. Ew. One shower a day. One mil pack per employee. I hate to say it, but I think if they were in danger of running out of drinking water, you wouldn't take showers at all. Why would you need to flush? Can't you just, like, stick your butt over the side of the rig and, you know, <laughs> take care of business that way? Unannounced arrival of the sick team. Do not screw with these guys. Alright. Keep it together, Don. Personal logs, messages. A large storm approaching our mobile Chernobyl, our mobile Chernobyl from the southwest. Okay, a bunch of logs. Okay, they're getting out of here. Flip to kill switch. Okay, so the short of this is something bad went down here, and it wasn't good for the crew either. I'll meet my maker soon. Okay. My body bag. 
The hell? Is that a beating heart? Children should not try this. <laughs> no. Probably right about that. Plunge into the depths of Bone Totem, the latest installment in the critically oh, no. acclaimed Stasis Anthology. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, what are we dealing with here? I think that was all we needed was the bionic heart. Yikes. Some sentry gun. Programmed to autonomously aim and fire at targets identified by its genetic sensors. Guns are not toys. It's a battery, looks like. Is that a CD-ROM slot or disc slot? Oh, we got a power cell. I know where that goes. Let's go ahead and do that now, because I know exactly where that goes. I know exactly. Now, see, this is like the thing with adventure games. You get stuck. It's like some simple thing, probably, but your brain's just not thinking the connection. <laughs> and then suddenly you find the answer to that, and then meanwhile you've been thinking about all this other stuff. So it's just rapid fire. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I think I need the fuse back, right? Okay, so I don't have to go to their individual menus to do that. That's neat. Alright, we've got ourselves a fuel cell. I guess I can't get that out now. So that must mean I don't need it again. See, that's a good adventure game design. You don't give the player all this stuff they can't use. What? Yeah, not give it to There you go. There you go. Something has activated behind me. Something colorful. Oh, Hope huh? loved colors. <laughs> no target data. Okay. Need to find a disc, I guess. That tell this thing what to shoot at. Whoops. PDA lift. This enthusiastically barred door hints at the size of the facility. Yeah. Oh yeah, we probably explored like half a one percent of this game. Console terminal. Have I looked at the terminal. I don't see anything I can do with this. Yeah, I don't think that's working. Alright, seen that. Body bag check. Window check. Oh, I freaking love that thing with the windows, man. That was that was cool. Alright, still can't get through that. That's still red. Gas reservoir. Okay, so. <sighs> what do I have that's new? You know, I got a kind of a sick idea. <laughs> kind of a disturbing idea here. Let's see. Security implant required. Oh, wait. Maybe I gotta combine them. All right. Other idea was maybe this flayed man. This is kind of gross if this is. No, I can't interact with him. Huh? No, I kind of halfway thought maybe I got to reanimate this guy. Thankfully, that's not the solution. What do I need a bionic heart for, though? Mostly meat and veins. Okay. You know, I don't think I... If it does give me any circles, I'm going to assume I cannot interact with the people. Could be dead wrong about that, but we will... 
go with that assumption. Okay, so I don't think... So the only thing she needs to do is get through this elevator panel. We have a security implant, but it says it's disabled. And what would I need to do to enable it? Truly, don't think a cell recharge station is what's called for. Let's see, he still can't get through anything. So again, up to our Teddy Ruxpin. Control room bulkhead. I think we missed something in here. Occasional trip to the ceiling of the terminal. Okay, I don't see anything I can do with this. Just making sure they didn't hide an inventory item or something. I don't think so. Papers, dead consoles, hall tape. Handmade corpse. I get everything I need from the body bag. Maybe I need to like dip the implant in the body bag. Oops. That's kind of gross. But let's try. No. Red paint and smells like nuts. What kind of nuts? Probably don't want to overthink that. Ah! Okay, so I got a bionic cart. Oh, here we go. Secured an envoy elevator. So it's just a little thing I didn't notice. Good. What am I looking at here? Some spikes. Am I supposed to, for some reason, plunge the heart onto that? Uh, no, I'm glad that wasn't the answer. <laughs> uh, maybe beat them out? A screwdriver probably wouldn't help, but let's just... In the spirit of trying everything. Okay, now we got everything. Something goes there, okay? And it's not the heart. Not the magnet. Not the implant. Oh, I thought for sure it was going to be that. So these look like nails coming through. Yeah. You know the gun is over here. I'm starting to get a kind of a sense of what I'm supposed to do. So this gun needs target data. Maybe I could shoot, make it shoot the door down. But I have to, I have to tell it what the, I have to give it some data. Hmm. Where do I get target data from? Um, curious. This is powered up. I just need to give it the data. I feel like I'm real close to a breakthrough here. Ah, it's gotta have something to do with it. It's gotta have something to do with this heart, right? 
Alright. Let's see, that doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. That doesn't do it. The only other thing, maybe he's got to break the heart. <laughs> he's heartbroken. Uh, there we go. What is it? Separated the power source from this heart. Was completely embedded into the meat. Ugh. Wash your hands, Mac. Yeah, you probably want to wash your hands after breaking open a bionic heart. Okay, so who needs... Who needs this? Bio power source. No, I think it's her. No. Oh, I bet you it goes inside that thing. That Boom. actually worked. What did you do, Charlie? Just mimicked the sound of a human heart to get this security implant to work. Nothing big. So smart, Charlie. I see why you keep them around. Alright, plug that in. Service error. Uh oh. <laughs> I sense a puzzle coming, huh? Magnet. Yeah. Sometimes you can tell just by the shape of the slot. Ooh. Diving belt terminal. More body oh, bags. Jesus. I got two more bodies here. Like the ones upstairs? No. No, th these are worse. And they're in body bags. I'm getting really close to calling this Charlie. <laughs> Only now? <laughs> oh, it's a bathroom. What the hell? Here's, what is this a lab, I guess? This isn't an oil rig, Mac. It's some kind of lab. Yeah, I see it. It explains why there's no AIS. Yeah. They're operating off the grid out here. But why? Mac, look at this. It looks ancient. Like a fossil. And not mm. human, either. I like this place less and less. This is getting interesting. Report on Skelton. Oh, what's all this? Kane Corporations. Some kind of alien? Ugh, weird. Unsettling. Am I supposed to be able to do something to it though? Oh, another PDA. <laughs> They're using these PDAs a lot. Ah, oh, little hearts. Oh, wow. Kay Elspas. Oh, we've read about her. I'm um, slowly growing accustomed to my condition. The noose hanging over my head is sharp enough to wish and blow to my nerve. No one to consult on scientific matters. My closest peer is the occult expert of America. Uh, not sure. She's got some kind of condition, I guess. I've not have access to that sexy mule research, but my position affords me some perks. It's digital organs. It's merely an evolutionary stepping stone. I understand the proper procedure must be followed. Your ignorance threatens my research. Don't confuse these for the farcical dietary supplements. Nanites in my blood. My calcium injections aren't on the next shipment. I will ensure that your contract is terminated. She's doing work with nanites. To synthesize my very own PS-139 from the remains. Bioculture. Others are covetous of success, aren't they always? Due to shifting scope, the experiment and all relevant documentation will be reallocated and escalated. I doubt I'll get credit beyond a footnote. 
Make contact with an old friend on the mule. Listen here, you little bitch turd. I'll unfortunately report you to Baron if you properly dispose of my specimens again. Procto Helios problem. Procto Heliosis. Procto Heliosis. <laughs> Interfering weasels. Yeah. Clone to the device. I have the research encoded on a data disk. So we know there's a disk here somewhere. We need the disk, so I'm pretty sure I know where that goes. Okay. Padded surfaces. Huh. Oh, weird. Look at that. Charlie, what in Cain is that? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's ancient. And doesn't have anything to do with Cain. Looks awesome. Like something out of Alien. Giger. A large coin-shaped disc dominates this side of the room. Not... We suggest it was made with modern day equipment, though. The numerous symbols emblazoned on the surface do not resemble any glyphs you recognize. You know those guys on ancient aliens, they sure would like to find that, wouldn't they? Probably guy'd probably buy an extra tube of hair gel just for the occasion. Huh. Look at these drawings. I like these. They are pretty. You and I have pretty? very different definitions of pretty bear. Uh -huh. Pretty badass metal album covers to me. So, is there a clue buried here? Got some letters, some numbers. Nothing leaps out at me, but if we find a puzzle, you know, we might come back and see. Genetic sequencers. Oh, there's where the disc is, but it's not there. Okay, what can we click on? Got numbers. Da -da 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 -da. I'm not going incorrect. Oh, is this like a... Is that like a box? A microwave or something? I see something in there pulsating. Oh, it's a sarcophagus. Oh, this is so cool. X-ray slides. I see some numbers on these things. I might want to try them in the machine. Let's take another look here. You know, it's like part of a number that got cut off there. It's like somebody scratched through it, right? It's like maybe 809? No. There's a number there. Let's just try that for fun. So it's 7, 7, 8, 9. Maybe a 6. Kind of hard to see. They probably wouldn't make a vital clue hard to read. But let's just see what happens. 7789. No, so it's, I think, a four digit code. Yeah, so we're looking for four digits somewhere. I need the code for this thing. I always write mine down, in spite of Moses' cautioning on password protection. So we're looking for four numbers. Is there an. Hidden somewhere here, some numbers. Uh, do not see any. Okay. Documents. XXI. See any four digits? You know, it could be that we're supposed to just plug every combination in. But... <sighs> Looks like maybe 809. I could be wrong about that. It won't take a second to try it. Let's see, zero. It's like, yeah, maybe 809. One, oh, eight, nine. Nope, two, oh, eight, nine. 
No. Okay, so none of those worked. It might be something other than an eight. Yeah, what is this stuff? Let's just keep looking. Maybe there's some more clues. Pour it on the skeleton. Oh, look. 18180. Oh, man, I'm good. Must be 1809. I thought I tried the combination, though. 1809. Oh, there we go. I got it. I must have somehow entered it wrong. Now we got a carver. Why the hell do I want that? I don't know. Ew. Yeah, let's go ahead and try this guy and see if he can break it. Nope. Oops. We got a chimera mass. That was fun. Okay. You know, we're not even on chapter two yet. I thought we would be there by wow. now. Wow. <sighs> the diving bell is huge. I mean, this thing can take an enormous amount of pressure. How far down you think they were going? Hmm. With equipment like this, deep. Very deep. You know, I've always wanted to go down on one of these things. I used to read Jules Verne as a kid. Just, you know, outer space is cool, but there's just so much stuff underwater that we haven't discovered yet. You know, it's a lot of ways even more intriguing. You know there's life in the water. We know that there's things that we no human has seen. All right, what am I looking at here? Telling me something about the diving bell, I guess. I don't know the significance of that yet. Hmm. Can you hack that? Not by myself. Moses, I'm gonna need your help here. My Charlie. You know, I finally figured out what mule stands for. I was thinking of Danny, uh, Danielle Buntonberry's game, which is one of my favorites. What does the mule stand for in that? Mobile something. <laughs> I don't know. Couldn't tell you. But here it stands for Mobile Underwater Laboratory Environment. Terminal is locked. We got a blank data disk. Yes, 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 yes. I know where that needs to go. Well, this says it was blank, though. Okay, she said she needed Charlie for this. Elevator diagram. Okay, that's what we were looking at. I'm glad it told me that was an elevator diagram. I don't know if I would have known that. Okay, have you seen it? Everything that she can see in here. Let's just try the, the disc real quick inside this machine. Probably won't do anything. Let's just see if it gives us a clue. Nada. Uh oh. Oh, maybe I gotta put that in there. Oh, cool. So we'll scan that. Then I take the disc. Give it to Charlie. I mean, uh. uh what's his bear's name? Now, oh, wait, 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 no, there, we need to put that in the gun. Got it coded. 
There we go. No target. I think we're getting real close though. Okay, what am I missing? We got just need to put some blood on this thing. I'm sure that's what that's for. Uh, let's see, can we get the sample back maybe? There we go. There we go. Give that to him. Oops, no, oh, oh, back, 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 back. Moses. Moses. Check it out. Check it out. Wait. Leave it on there, right? Leave it on there. Now this gun should fire. Engage. What the hell was that? I opened the door. A door? What'd you use? Dynamite? Guns are not toys, Mac. He has a what are you complaining <laughs> about? He didn't shoot you. Not yet. yet. I am a very smart bear now. Smart bear. Alright. We got ourselves. A door, how cool is that? Alright. So now these people are combined. I'm here, Charlie. Good work, Moses. I need you to override the terminal inside the big metal ball. Can you do that? I am a smart bear now. Yeah, they got a good job on Moses here. He's This place is not safe or happy. Children should not play here. It's like a creepy version of uh, Marvin the Paranoid Android. This water is dark. I do not like water. Oh, no. In water you are powerless. I know, little guy. I know. You can do it. You're brave and strong. I am brave and strong. Ooh, brave and strong. No, let's see. Come on. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Connection secure. Attempting firewall override. Cool. Charlie, computer says doors are open. I'm heading your way. Okay, oh, Roger that. Dolls, Moses. All right, now we're through. I'm inside. This place is leaking bad. Seam intact? It's solid. Kane built it like they build everything. To last. Alright, so now we got him in here. And what are we getting everybody to get? I've already been in here. For some reason, he needs to be there too. Rest in peace, Captain. May your mind reach the Nexus. You really think he had a transcendence implant? You never know. Transcendence implant. Those bodies. <sighs> Maybe a shark attack? Wounds yeah. are too uniform. Shark teeth rip the shit out of flesh. Language, Mac. What about that... <sighs> that guy Moses. upstairs? The damage on him? Yeah, that was something else. Intentional. Maybe someone lost it. You know, went psycho. I bet you we gotta get everybody inside this bell, and then we all go down. Then it starts to get really creepy. I don't think we should be doing this. We don't have any idea where this thing goes. It goes down. <laughs> I know what I mean. I'm not going back to the boat. You can leave if you want to, but I'm staying. God damn it. I like her. Too many risks, too easily. And you don't fight hard enough for things that are important. Mac, this one time, will you just trust me? We're all we've got left. We're all we've got left. <sighs> Fine. Okay. Okay. Okay.
don't know if I want to see what's down here. <laughs> that was scary enough up there. Now we're going down. That's cool, the way they did that. <sighs> this thing just keeps on going. Have we ever been this deep? Deep? Yeah, the crozier was close. <laughs> Not by half. That was under an ice shelf. Deep? I love that job. It's good, clean salvage. In and out, no surprises. No bodies. We are deep. Yes, there are bodies. We've worked with Man, bodies that is before. The creepiest looking. So far, there's been so nothing. So far. Why are I'm deep. sorry, Mac, but you know I'm right. You know, without this, we're at a dead end. We won't be able to. I'll be underwater. Yes, Moses. Just for a little while, Mose. I do not like water. In water, you are powerless. At least the bear gets it. Ah! Uh, oh, look at that. I like this helmet. Chapter 2! <laughs> Alright folks, I thought we would play the first chapter of this. Because, you know, the, the problem with this, you know, the more I go, the more I spoil, basically. Even though I'm totally bumbling around and inept. My s puzzle solving. Let's, I'll go ahead and let it get to the next, uh, through this intro. Warning. Docking bay depression lies. No atmosphere present. Warning. Well, glad it told us. We'd be dead in 90 seconds in there. Not just us. If there's no life support, does that mean there's no survivors? I think there's any survivors. Charlie Mac, I do not need life or support. Lucky you. Yes. Moses, go for it. See if you can pressurize everything nice. out there. Clever. All right, folks, I don't want to spoil any more of the game for you, but, man, I'm having a great time with this, as you can probably tell. Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I haven't never played this before. Obviously, I don't know the solutions to the puzzles, so I'm just trying to figure things out as I go along, trying to figure out. you got to try to get a sense of the developers and you know, the way they design puzzles, the way they like to put clues, and, you know, eventually you kind of learn their style, and uh, then you can start being a little bit more predictive and things uh, pick up a little. From what I've seen, my guess is they probably put these. These, my guess is that the puzzles they put in chapter one are pretty easy uh, compared to ones we might encounter later on. So I certainly wouldn't expect the game to get easier at this point. Probably more challenging. Probably a, a little bit more involved. Uh, but there's a lot of games out there with great puzzles. Uh, but what would set it apart would be if the storyline was really engrossing, if the characters were really interesting, if it made you want to play. To keep on even if you get frustrated as a, at a puzzle or something you know is, is there enough there to keep you moving beyond that uh, you know even if you're enjoying the puzzles or if you don't like the puzzles you know are the other elements you know <laughs> uh, keeping you uh, properly stimulated 
and moving on through the game? And I think the answer to that is absolutely yes. Uh, I mean, they nailed the graphics. The cinematics are great. Uh, music, unsettling. Uh, these, these characters are really cool, especially... I think Moses, the, the bear here, might be just... Uh, uh, from what little I've seen so far, just a really unique character. going to be fun to learn more about his personality. You know, I do... Uh, I think that I remember him not liking water. So that stands out. You know, it's, it's a good mix of kind of endearing, but really ugly and sort of creepy. So they got a lot of uh, interesting vibes going on there. Uh, I like the I like this system of uh, with the pings, so you can easily see like what what you can you click on. You know, that seems like a minor thing if you haven't really played a lot of point and click adventure games. But man, uh, some of the really old ones you you could never tell like what is clickable, what's not clickable, what is uh, just there for description for flavor versus what you actually need to interact with. Uh, so I think they really nailed that with this system. It's really intuitive. You know, you can pick it up quick. Uh, I like the fact that it records all of your conversations. You know, a lot of games do this, but it's really important uh, in a game like this because a lot of the times, you know, you've seen what happens. Right? You get stuck, you get flummoxed. Uh, it's helpful to go back and review those those conversations, see if you can pick up the thread that you uh, you missed. You know, I have a habit when I'm playing this, I'll sometimes, when I'm watching a cutscene or conversation I will start looking at the screen and I'll get distracted not actually pay attention <laughs> and that happens to me a lot and so it's helpful to have a, a record of that uh, so otherwise I'm not sure what what else to say here I think if you haven't played this game and you're thinking about it uh, obviously if you like the first one I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want to play this uh, if you're new to this series or you haven't heard of stasis before and uh, somehow you're like, well, hmm, you know, sh should I, shouldn't I just, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I would always say yes. If you like this genre, you got to support the people making the games in the genre. Uh, there's not a whole bunch of games like this being made, folks, and, uh, especially good ones uh, like this. So I, I always say, you know, I talk to a lot of people and they're like, well, I'll, you know, I'll buy this when I get around to it. I'm playing this, this other stuff. And, you know, eventually uh, I'll wait, maybe I'll wait till it's on a Steam sale or you know, something like this. And that's understandable. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, I think you want to support <laughs> the developers. <laughs> you want to make sure that, you know, by the time you're ready to play this one, there's going to be an, another game coming out. Uh, and that's not going to happen if they don't have enough people buying uh, and supporting your game. And, you know, and telling people about it. So even if you want to, if you know you're going to be, it's going to be a while before you're ready to play, I always say just go ahead and pick it up now. It'll, that way it'll be there and you'll support the developer. <laughs> you know, I'm sure they would rather have... Uh, you know the what they're charging now for the game versus some kind of steam sale that may or may not happen on, on down the road so you know just just do the right thing um you know if you want to support the genre you know i hear all the time i wish there were more games like this well, well here's your chance you know you can make sure that happens uh, anyway i think i'm about said all i can say about this uh definitely pick it up i'm going to continue playing here i'm not sure how many chapters there are but i'm sure there's probably uh I feel like I'm probably about maybe 10% tops uh, done with this game. Uh, I don't, again, have no idea how many chapters there are. Five, maybe, sound like a pretty good typical number, but I have no clue. Uh, you could find that up, out if you really wanted to. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Hope you enjoyed this. A little bit creepy. I'm a little bit scared, but I'm going to continue on. <laughs> it wasn't so scary with me here playing it with you. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to stop it here and see you next time. So that's all for this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that. You know, at the risk of a, uh, you know, I've somebody told me that there's something in Stasis Bone Totem that I didn't encounter in this video, but I have to see. And they gave me just enough hints to make me think I, I just absolutely have to play this this one through to the end. Uh, so I don't know if I want to do another video uh, on it. Uh, we'll see. You know, maybe I'll do a little members only uh, video of me playing through uh, some of the later content, but. Uh, uh, anyway, hopefully you uh, saw enough here to convince you it's worth your money. Uh, again, uh, I know you got a lot of game. We got a lot of stuff we're playing now: Zelda, Diablo 4. Uh, there's just so many, uh, so many things coming out. But uh, go ahead and pick this game up now. That way you'll be supporting uh, uh, Nick and Chris. They'll be able to make more of these games, so that when you do find the time, uh, I just say play it now. But you know it'll be there, and you can play it whenever you like. It's only $19.99. Uh, definitely a good investment. Congratulations to those guys at the Brotherhood. 
uh, for making this thing, getting it, getting it done, and getting it complete, and getting it on Stephen Gox. So, congrats! Uh, what else am I doing? On? Oh yes, <laughs> I want to thank you very, very, very much for supporting this show, for keeping Matt Chat on the air all these years, these decades, these centuries. <laughs> Uh, you might remember episode one, we were dealing with, the, we had that on the Commodore 64 and BBS. <laughs> remember the old, uh, was it 2400 baud modems? Uh, some of you guys might have had some even slower ones where you could actually type faster than the modem could transmit. But anyway, I digress. I want to thank you for supporting the show, keeping it on the air. You know, there's a lot of people watch this show, very few that step up to the plate, <laughs> take the minutes to go ahead and sign up on them. A Patreon page, become a member of the team, get on the Discord. And I'm going to tell you something. If you like Matt Chat, or this is really true for any of these shows, you know, you, you might say you like it here, but once you start supporting it, and again, all asking for a buck a show, you're going to notice that enjoyment factor go way up. You're going to go from liking to loving. It's just magic, you know? It's just weird how that works. But uh, if you want to get more out of Matt Chat, please go to that link in the show notes to the Patreon page couple of bucks, whatever you can afford. Just think of it kind of as a tip jar, if you will. Uh, but I really, really appreciate that, and thank you so much for supporting the show. All right, what about that news from the Matt Cave? What is that news? Miko has been on the beat. Miko has been on the beat. Oh, has he ever been on the beat? Three! Nope. <laughs> Get the fingers right. <laughs> Three! Uh, possibly four items. I kind of love one together. But uh, first is, uh, the, remember that game Fable? You, know, you plant an acorn, come back later, there's a tree there. Something along those lines. Well, the, I guess they've remade this series. Uh, I don't really know too much about it. Gotta be honest, not my favorite series, not my favorite franchise. Uh, just something, I just never really got into it. Maybe that's a mistake. You know, let me know what you guys think of the Fable series. Maybe I should revisit that. Uh, but anyway, uh, they got a pretty funny trailer out for this uh, new one. Richard Ayoa Day. Ayoa Day. Ayoa Day? I think I'm getting that. Somewhere in that ballpark. The guy from the IT crowd, he's fabulous. Just If you've ever seen the IT crowd, you got to watch it. Absolutely hilarious. Love it. Uh, anyway, he's in this trailer for Fable, so it's worth watching, I think, for that alone, just in my opinion, but, but you know, check this out. Uh, maybe you missed Fable when it was out, uh, you know, in the Xbox days. Uh, it might be worth a look. Did it come out on a was it PlayStation 2? Probably uh, when that came out. You know, I, I just don't know too much about it. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think if you're excited about the game, this uh, new trailer. Uh, I am more excited about this one. In Exile Entertainment has a reveal trailer for Clockwork Revolution. A time-bending steampunk RPG from the creators of Wasteland and Arcane. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you know, you kind of get a Bioshock vibe uh, from this video, but Fargo says it's, uh, don't be deceived, this is a true RPG. It's got the stats, it's got the quote-unquote crunchy detail. What is, what is this crunchy? <laughs> I'm going to eat this? <laughs> yeah, we are dexterity. Straight. I don't know. Everybody likes to use this word crunchy these days, so well, I guess I should just jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, it's a crouton level of crunch. Uh, get this uh, Clockwork Revolution. I didn't write down the release date, so I'm not sure when this is coming out, but you know, I'm really excited about this one. It looks like it's going to be good, so definitely uh, keeping tabs on that. And Obsidian, couple items here for Obsidian. Uh, this game of Valve they've been working on. Uh, they got a gameplay game play trailer now available for that. So in the fictional world of Eora, Eora, E-O-R-A, Eora, it was first introduced to players in the Pillars of Eternity franchise. Avowed as a first-person fantasy RPG from the award-winning team at Obsidian Entertainment. Explore the living lands, a mysterious island filled with adventure and danger. As an envoy of Edar, you are sent to investigate rumors of a spreading plague with a secret that th threatens to destroy everything. A plague with a secret. That doesn't sound familiar at all. <laughs> Can you save the island and your soul from the forces threatening to tear them apart? Oh, can you, can you, can you? I don't know. I have to buy the game and find out. Anyway, let me know what you think about that. So we got a three for here. Fable, Clockwork Revolution, uh, Avowed. Of course, you know, Microsoft's got that thing, uh, uh, the Star Citizen. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, they should have just bought out Star Citizen and continued with that, right? What, what do they call that? A Starfield, I think? No Man's Sky kind of a project. You know, we got that on the uh, on the radar as well. Oh, uh, Obsidian. Uh, they also have a 20th anniversary documentary video. That thing is fantastic. You got Ferguson there, a uh, bunch of other people. I think they got most of the crew uh, in this documentary. Uh, it looks really, really good. Uh, so definitely check that out. It's for free. It's on YouTube, so you can't go, <laughs> go wrong there. <laughs> uh, all right, what about that ale of the week? <laughs> oh, Matt, have you got an ale? Oh, Matt, what, where's the ale? Oh, there, look, look at this thing. That is kombucha. <laughs> now, kombucha is not beer, but let me tell you what I did with this. I, I, I've been making kombucha for several years. Kind of hit or miss. Sometimes it tastes great. Sometimes it tastes like puke. You know, I really, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard for me uh, to be consistent with this, but I, I made a batch. And what I did, I uh, made a dry hop. So I made the kombucha the regular way I usually do, but I uh, dry hopped it at the end. I put some, I believe it was Cascade hops in there. Uh, and it uh, really turned out absolutely fantastic. Way better than I ever would have dreamed. Uh, so I've only got a couple bottles of it, but I thought I would open up this one uh, just to show you what that's all about. Just in case you're curious about kombucha. You know, you make it with uh, sweet tea. This is my, probably my second favorite beverage. You know, I drink a lot of sweet tea. Uh, basically what you do, you let get this thing called a SCOBY. It ferments. It's a little bit easier than brewing beer. Uh, fewer steps, I guess. But um, again, you let it go for three or four weeks, get this sort of hockey puck thing growing on top. <laughs> then I uh, added the hops just directly in, filtered it out the best I could. I uh, left it in there for a few days and uh, then you just pop it in. You leave it in a bottle like this. Now use a plastic bottle. Uh, that way you can squeeze it. And it's just fun to squeeze bottles. It's very, you know, a lot of people won't let you squeeze things, but this bottle doesn't object. You can squeeze this. Mm. And, and what you want to do is wait until it's nice and hard. So when you really just have to, mm, like, I can't squeeze that thing, man. Uh, that's when you know it's time to take it off the, uh, take it off uh, room temperatures, take it off the cabinet or wherever you got it stored, put it into the fridge, because otherwise this thing will explode. You probably don't want kombucha everywhere. Uh, but anyway, it's been in the fridge for about a week now. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing open, if I can open it. it was, there we go. So you can probably, or I can already see a nice bit of foam. Now when you drink sweet tea, it doesn't have a lot of foam, it doesn't have head like a beer. Uh, if it does, you probably want to, you know, send that tea back. <laughs> <laughs> Something kind of strange, that tea, bud. But hey, take a look at that. Now, you tell me that's not a beer, man. Look at the color. Look at the head on that. It even smells like a beer. That's the hops. You know, again, the Cascade hops. It didn't do anything special. Didn't uh, boil it or anything. Just uh, you know, put the dry hops in a little, uh, about a, what, about quarter of a gram? Quarter of an ounce. Or worth the hops in the gallon and... You know, it just smells really good. It kind of smells a little bit like those, uh, remember those sour ales? I'm not too crazy about those, but this is, you know, I bet if I just gave this to you and not t didn't tell you anything about it, you'd probably think that's what it was, one of those sour ales. Anyway, it smells really good. You know, of course, you just smell the Cascade hops. It doesn't taste, uh, it doesn't smell like tea <laughs> at all. You would have no, no clue this had anything to do with sweet tea. Uh, anyway, let's give it a taste. Yeah, it's, it's very uh, kind of a grapefruit aroma on this, a little bit of apricot, uh, maybe even a little bit of peach. It's a little bit sour. You know, some people say kombucha is very vinegary. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Mine doesn't taste vinegary at all. Uh, again, just kind of tastes more than anything, like maybe uh, one of the sort of fruity ales you can, you can get. Let me put some of the good old drinking orange here. I don't want this guy to feel sad and left out. You know, he gets FOMO. You just leave, leave him sitting over there. He's like, ah, come on. I'm drinking some kombucha out of the drinking horn. Mm. You know, super, uh, just superb quality on this. The, uh, you know, I realize I made it myself. <laughs> but it's just, it's just so much better than I thought it would be. I'm like, holy heck, all I did was just add some, some hops. Like the last uh, week or so of my kombucha fermentation, it turns out this good? I mean, you just really can't believe this. I mean, you could put this right up there with any of those uh, 
really now it's a bit fruity it's a little bit sour so it's not gonna be for everybody uh, but if you like those flavors i mean this is you know it's practically free <laughs> you can make this stuff by the gallon uh, no expertise required uh, hey <laughs> really really good stuff uh, if you're curious i can give uh, a little bit more specifics about the uh, uh, the ingredients of things but it's really just sweet tea and the uh, the scoba you can pick those up at amazon and then just thyme Mm. You know, I actually think this tastes better than a lot of the beers I've made. Now, as far as alcohol, supposedly there is some trace alcohol in this. Uh, you know, it's probably under 1%. You know, I certainly don't taste any. Uh, but, you know, if for whatever reason you have like zero alcohol, you probably don't want it. But, uh, you know, it's kind of why I like it. <laughs> You know, maybe I kind of pretend, you know, maybe there's like one or two percent in there, but <laughs> uh, from what I hear, uh, it's very unusual to get more than one percent uh, alcohol by volume uh, from kombucha, probably a lot less. Uh, but anyway, uh, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up with a quote, and I bet you don't know whose birthday it is today. It is Blaise Pascal's birthday. Good old Blaise Pascal. And he's got a lot of great quotes. And am I just imagining it? <laughs> this kombucha kind of, kind of doing something here. I, uh, I feel kind of strange. <laughs> you know, it's all in your head. Now, okay, um, Blaise Pascal. All human evil comes from a single cause: man's inability to sit still in a room. That's a problem that you and I don't have. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that and see you next time.